how to carve a turkey. Tradition says slice at the table, but we think your guests will be just as happy with a pretty plated presentation. You will need a cooked turkey, a cutting board, a carving knife, and a serving tray. Step one, keep the turkey in the kitchen after it's cooked to let it cool slightly and the juices redistribute. Slicing that bird is a greasy, messy proposition, so keep your guests out of the splatter zone. Step two, place the turkey on a cutting board breast side up. As you pull one leg away from the bird, slice through the skin and the joint connecting it to the body. Repeat with the other leg. Use a long, sharp carving knife. A short dull blade will take longer, shred the meat, and increase your chance of injury. Step three, cut through the leg joint to separate the thigh from the drumstick and set the drumstick aside. Cut as much meat as you can off the thigh bone, trying to keep it in one large piece. Cut against the grain to create slices about a quarter of an inch thick. Step four, pull one wing away from the body of the bird and cut through the skin and the joint. Repeat with the other wing and set the wings aside. Step five, remove the breast in halves. Use the breast bone as your guide and cut down one side of it, as close to the bone as you can, so that the meat comes off in one piece. Repeat with the other half of the breast. Step six, place both halves of the turkey breast skin side up on your cutting board. Slice them against the grain at a slight angle into pieces about a quarter of an inch thick. Step seven, on a serving platter, assemble the meat and separate the white meat, the breasts and the wings, from the dark meat, the legs and the drumsticks. Present your hungry guests with a delicious and tidy bird. Did you know? According to a recent study, two-thirds of Thanksgiving turkeys are cooked by women, while more than half are carved by men.